welcome back to another video here. Starting this vlog off in camo. I've been getting up at 4 a.m. and hunting uh, my Indiana property about an hour and a half away from home the last few mornings in a row. Pretty productive the last two days. Uh, today, however, was not so productive. Didn't see a single deer, which isn't entirely bad. It just means that there's probably a doe and estrus in the area. and There's not many does on this property that I've been hunting. And so all the bucks are probably hovering around her within about 100 yards or less, just kind of circling and being close by. It's probably just why I didn't see too much moving in my in my parcel today, but otherwise I've been seeing bucks and does every single sit. It's that time of year, and that's how it can go. You can have all the bucks on one or two does, and then it can either really help you out or really hurt you in terms of action that morning. I wish I didn't have to get out, but I do have to because I've got some other work to do and I've been trading off so that my wife can hunt all the afternoons and then I hunt the mornings. And then my brother actually just called me and said he shot a really nice buck. He said that he hasn't gotten down to look at it up close, but he's pretty sure it's a stud buck. He said it went right down in the field, uh, didn't, didn't run very far at all and it was just right down. So pretty excited about that. He has not shot in a big buck ever. Actually, he's been really trying to get into the whole deer hunting thing a lot more hardcore this last two seasons, and uh, it's definitely paying off, you know. So we might get to see a little bit of big buck action here in the beginning of this video, but I'm, I'm not going to make any promises. But I would like to test out Nasty Red's deer deer rack, you know, kind of thing with the, with the bed sides, because that's the whole purpose I put them on here was for deer hunting purposes and being able to keep a deer on the bed without having to strap it down. So we'll see how this goes. Maybe he'll call me up and he's gonna need help because I know he doesn't have a pickup truck or maybe he won't and he'll just strap it out of his car. I'm not sure, so we'll see what happens. So we're here, we got the nasty red with the deer hauling set up on it. What did you do? Your hands are covered in all kinds of crusty red stuff. Well, anyways, he shot a deer and he just smacked his shin. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna get him loaded on up here in the, in the flatbed. There it is. First one in the bed. Congrats. That's a good deer. It's a good deer. There it goes. But the deer hauling strategy with this thing worked. We have the wonderfully dirty. I hate that horse. I'm telling you guys, I don't like horses. Don't care for them. Got the nasty right here. We're going to be doing a full service on this truck because it has not been done in about 5,000 miles or so. So we're gonna get the hood popped. I have actually had the truck off for the last probably 30, 40 minutes now, so hopefully it's cooled down a little bit. We're gonna drain the oil, let everything get out, and then uh, this is gonna be fun to get out. We've gotta get out the oil filter right here, which is gonna be a little bit of a booger to get to now because we've got this wonderful compound turbo kit, which is super amazing but we just got to remove one piece of piping to get to that unless there's some other magical way to get to it but i guess it's going to be we're going to have to remove that to get to the filter what we're actually going to be using though is some shell rotella 15w40 you could probably get away with using just about any kind of oil in these things for them to run fine but um going into the winter here it's getting pretty freaking cold i'm sure i'm gonna have to do another oil change around christmas time at the rate i'm putting miles on in deer season here but it's been about 5,000 miles since the last change and i want to put shell rotel in it i've been putting that in the last few vehicles i used to do pretty much everything was stp now i've kind of moved over to shell rotella i've just heard a lot of good things about it and uh, it's supposed to be great for a little bit longer um, times if for some reason I can't get to it right away in between changes I want to have at least what I believe to be is one of the best products out there for these things in terms of oil um, that way if I can't get to it immediately I know I've got good stuff in there that should still be able to go the extra mile or so we're gonna get to pulling these out put them in the truck here once we get it all drained and then we've got some Bosch windshield wiper blades for the flat nasty because the flat nasty is sitting over there the wiper blades are fine but they're getting a little bit uh a little bit wore out they're starting to break apart on the ends a little bit and i just know it's going to be one of these days it's going to be pouring rain we're going to use them and then they're not going to work because they're going to come apart in the middle of the storm so I figured before that happens let's get these thrown on there So here's the old ones. I don't know how well you can see, but you can see they're starting to kind of dry rot. I mean, they're looking pretty 
This is actually kind of like crusty feelings. Better to get up top now than when you're in the middle of a freaking storm, I tell ya. Because of course, the middle of a storm is the only time you're gonna wanna flip these on to find out if they work and then uh, that's when it'll get you. So we got the intake off. Now we're going to be pulling off this ugly k oil filter and swapping it out with a new one. Dropping in our new oil filter and then putting in our new oil. Got it almost all the way full. There's probably another inch until the top, but when I tip it over to put it in there to thread it, I don't want to just dump it out and waste it. I'm gonna put this back on. Then another thing, Nasteroid's actually missing like four of the small nuts that it needs to hold this grill on. I don't know if you guys can see them, I might have to pull it down a little bit. Right there, so it's missing I think four of those small nuts and washers and I think I've actually got a full set of those here so I'm gonna put those on that grill so it doesn't rattle so much. changed levels are good oils way cleaner now so we're gonna try to address the lighting situation in the shop here a little bit when I say shop I mean it's more of like an animal barn that I kind of converted part of it to be kind of a shop space to be able to make it work for now until we get our other place I'm gonna wait on this lighting for today but I did get some lighting that I'm excited to try out and it's this lighting right here so I got some LED lighting for the tractor shed because here's the thing it is so dark in here and I just don't know how well the lighting is going to be in this place um, all season. I'm guessing in the winter and later this fall, it's going to be pretty dark and gloomy out at times. And the lighting in here is just not going to be great. Even with the little sunlight, it's just not going to work very well. So I'm going to try to hang these four lights, plug them in and see how these work. They were only 65 bucks for all four of them. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully it really brightens this room up. Quick little look around this room before I install them though. It's enough to see, but it's just really gloomy. Well, he had to join me. Mommy's out uh, deer hunting. Yeah, tractors and stuff. Yeah, that's cool. He wants to play with the camera. But anyway, so here's the lighting. It's not... It's not final, but it, it works and it's it's pretty bright. Um, that's what I've been saying, but it's it's pretty bright. It's pretty bright. I don't know if you remember what it looked like before, but it was lots of shadows, very gloomy in here. Uh, the bench, you couldn't see a screw laying on there. It was dark enough. I mean, it was not ideal. It was not ideal, but now it's pretty freaking bright in here. I don't know how much justice the camera's doing, but it's it's pretty bright. So at least the main half the garage there is uh, well lit. In terms of the cords, the lights look like they're all crooked because I haven't addressed the cord situation. I'm just kind of letting them stay with the little twisty tie that came with them and then just to plug them in to make sure they all flip on and stuff just fine. But the way they're actually ran is on one switch. So you plug them all together if you want, and then you can have them on individual switches to get the power through, or you can put them all on one, which is what I did. Then they all 
turn off and on. This is with this is with none of the lights on. That's with the lights on. So they get they get pretty stinking bright. And I think for the entire set of four, I paid like 55 bucks. They were super cheap. Will they last forever? I don't know. But I just wanted to see how much more light we could get in here on a budget just because the rest of the shop isn't gonna be getting like finished. I just wanted some bright lights in here temporarily so that we can work on this and actually see the nuts were turning and the bolts were moving and uh, not actually have to guess on everything because everything's covered in darkness, gloominess, shadows, and all that other stuff. So I think that is gonna wrap it up for the tractor shed today. New windshield wiper blades on the flat nasty. Full service on the nasty red. New lighting in the shop. Got to put the buck in the truck. That was fun. So we got to try out several, several little things today. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you wanna get entered to win this beautiful flatbed 12 valve Cummins built to work, ready to go, plus $5,000 cash. All you gotta do is place an order at LMP Gear. Dot com. You can buy a hoodie like the one he's rocking right now. This one's a little oversized. I recommend you order a size up. He went about 35 sizes up. Place an order, check out, and you're automatically entered to win that flatbed 12 valve Cummins plus $5,000 cash. So get in while you can, guys. Giveaway does end at the end of this month, and then your odds of winning are zero if you are not in by November 24th. Thanks so much, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.